So everyone these days is uh, trying to create their AI agents or their automations for their workflows and trying to automate their business to make it more efficient and uh, cost effective. And uh, there are many tools also to achieve such thing. But uh, from my point of view, N8N is the most powerful tool to create your automations on top because it's very easy to create the automation in a, a very simple UI. And in just a few minutes, you can create your workflow. But uh, hosting your uh, workflow on N8N uh, would be painful because you get uh, limited executions, limited uh, subscription with limited workflows that can be active. So the other solution uh, would be is to self-host. So to self-host self uh, locally or uh, on a cloud, there are different challenges. I'm going to talk about them. And I also, I'm going to show you how to self-host with just one click and uh, how you can monitor your uh, automations in uh, one dashboard and how you can control it in a very easy way. So uh, let's start talking about the different solutions on how you host your AI automations. And then we uh, move forward to show you how to do everything. I'll show you step by step. So in N8N, uh, you, get, you go to the pricing page, you see that the starter uh, price is uh, 24 euros here in Europe and it's hosted by N8N, you get only five active workflows. And um, I think the free plan will be a one active workflow with limited executions and it gets expensive exponentially. So the other solution uh, would be that you uh, self-host as uh, I mentioned. And uh, this is also challenging because different reasons. You uh, wouldn't have secure HTTPS for webhooks, for example. You need to make sure that the system is always up and running, updated, maintained, and only have a one computer that would be uh, very painful if you need to restart your computer or laptop or take it somewhere else you cannot host your workflow. And it's also not a production ready solution. You can uh, self host locally for trying different things, but uh, you cannot use it for uh, production or a uh, serious workflows. And also uh, if you host it on NFN, you wouldn't be able to install the community nodes, which is a very powerful thing. There are a, a big community right now who create uh, nodes with different solutions and if you want to install it you have to host n8n first to be able to install the community nodes to your uh, workflow and the part that makes n8n is uh, very powerful is it is open source and it's community driven so using n8n without self-hosting is not uh, ideal for production unless you have a premium account with NFN. So uh, the other uh, solution would be is to self-host on the cloud. And that comes with uh, many challenges with deployment, but I have created a solution for uh, everyone. So basically you can just with one click, you can provision NFN uh, instantly and uh, you will have uh, an instant working uh, on the cloud with HTTPS and everything. So I will show you now how to do it. So the solution would be is to host your NFN on uh, fly.io. It's relatively um, not expensive and uh, also very stable as far as I have used it. And you don't need to deploy it manually or anything. You can uh, just create an account on Chronolytic. This is my business. By the way, I'm not sponsored by Flight.io, uh, but uh, Chronolytic is uh, my product. But you can create a free account and try it out. You can also deploy for free uh, one instance. And I will show you step by step. So uh, mainly you go to uh, Flight.io dashboard. Um, do all the login stuff, the normal thing, uh, put your credit card, and then uh, go to tokens. Okay, so uh, in, in the tokens, you create uh, a new token. 
And uh, basically, you get one uh, uh, here. You copy it. I will delete this token, by the way, after uh, before the before I upload the video. So no worries here. So I will take this that uh, a copy, and I will log into uh, Chronolytic, and then show you how to do it. Okay, so uh, now uh, we logged into Chronolytic and you go to deploy in it and put your uh, talk in here and uh, give the application a name like for for example, uh, Chronolytic uh, and the passwords, anything passwords uh, and then you choose the region. And the region would be um, the closest to your business. That would be the ideal case. But uh, you can choose any region that you wish. I, w I will use Amsterdam because that's uh, the most stable uh, region uh, near me. Okay. And then you uh, choose how much uh, RAM memory you need for uh, your automations. The more RAM memory, the more automations you can have. But it, it is enough uh, for trying out 2 giga RAM. It's enough for NetN. And uh, here it gives you the estimation for how much you would pay for uh, your hosting uh, to uh, fly.io. So this is just the estimation. You can find the pricing here, what you would pay. Uh, for now, I have uh, fixed a uh, one shared CPU with this giga RAM. But in the future, I will let you also choose the kind of processor you need and the memory. But for now, you can only choose how much RAM memory you will execute your instance on top. And also, it will give you one shared CPU and five gigabytes for your automations. Okay. So uh, after you configured this, it's very easy just to talk in a username for your app, a password, the region, the RAM memory, and just click deploy. And uh, once you deploy, you just wait for a few minutes, like two, five minutes, something like that. And uh, you should get an email with the link of on uh, fly.io. So let's wait here. Uh, okay, let's delete that one. So basically, if you go to the dashboard on the fly.io, you will find all the deployments. You can see here something is provisioning. It gives you six gig RAM and everything. And you have full control on your deployment. You can have all the statistics. You can go to the machine and understand what is happening, uh, what are the resources that are consumed. And you can uh, later uh, go to... Yeah, open the, your machine and you can suspend it if you wanted to stop it for reducing costs or if you uh, were just uh, trying some automations and you don't and you wanted to shut it off, you can suspend it and run it anytime and you can stop the machine and you can delete it also. You can just go to the setting and delete the app and you can delete it. So, um, so you get an email here and it says your URL and everything is already successful. You just go to the link and you find here that you have already a working instance. I think that's really brilliant. And I'm really happy to have this feature that makes Chronolytic a full cloud solution for automation. So if you if you uh, wanted to uh, deploy an instance for your NetN, you wanted to monitor it, you want to control it via API, you wanted to schedule advanced tasks, all of that can be done through Chronolytic. So now I will show you how to do it and how to monitor your automations inside your instance. And if anything happens wrong inside uh, your automation, you can get notified easily and without a problem. And if the region you deployed to was out of the service, so uh, you can risk that you will be notified that your automations are not running. So um, let's create an account here. So let's say, uh, Saleh.com and Saleh um, 
anything um, yeah and I wanted to receive security and product updates and you just click click uh, click and if you uh, click on this sometimes it ha it hangs so if you don't want to receive uh, product updates it's not a problem so uh, you just anyway you refresh and you will be directed inside you have uh, some kind of questionnaire you just fill it in and you are good to go so um, you have to get a license and it's free forever so you request it and in your email you should get an email right now it says your license so you take this license and go to any uh, your instance uh, where is it okay so go to the settings enter the activation key and you are active awesome so uh, we uh, also go to the community and install the chronolytic node so write in it and nodes chronolytic and I understand by the way I submitted my node for in it and verification and it will be verified soon I hope so let's yeah cross fingers <laughs> so let's install it and in um second you have it installed uh once i make updates you can come here you'll find the update and you can update the the node uh, with uh, the software updates without an issue so you have here uh, a full hosted node you have a control over it you have uh, you have it here or on your account on fly.io you can as i said you can delete it anytime but now I will show you how uh, to monitor it. So uh, you come here and add chronolytic, the one we just added, and, and it will ask you for credentials, the name of the job, and the expression. The expression, if you don't want to uh, put the expression, you can go to ChatGPT and ask for expression. Like, for example, I want uh, a trigger for every two minutes on Sundays, for example. So uh, and give me the Chrome expression and ChatGPT will give you the expression. If you don't want that, there is a, a very easy way to do it through Chronetics. So just create it with this expression. You don't have to understand it, but we have to go to Chronolytic first and create an API talking. So you go to profile. and yeah let's delete that one and generate a new key and give it like init and self posted just a name okay and you just created it you copy the the api key make sure you copy it you copy it and go to yeah here and create a credential and paste it here and then go here and copy your user id and save make sure that it is testing yeah testing and then close it and then yeah you have here oh i i forgot to put a name so the name would be yeah chronolytic um monitoring for example and yeah and you have it here. So you can trigger workflows with it, but you can keep it in just a separate workflow just to, to make sure that it, it is up and running. So if this instance broke down, I will show you in, in the next minute. So if it breaks, you will get notified about a failure. So um, just first activate the workflow and you say, yeah, got it. And it's uh, activated and you go here so now we wanted to change the expression to whatever rate we need so you go to edit the job and change, yeah let's say for one every one minute for example so now uh, chronolytic will trigger the your workflow every one minute and it's the state of spending 
and in um, about a minute it will uh, trigger the next run so let's wait so as you can see uh, the request is succeeded and if you go to monitoring you can find the logs here so it, it is successful at 11 52 at my time so if you go also to the running instance you can see you can go to the executions and you can see here in the logs also that it's running so let's say that this instance broke down or crashed or whatever so uh, let's delete the instance so we take this and delete it and now the instance is gone so you should be expecting in the next minute you receive an email that there is a failure so let's see first in the dashboard what happens so the next run will be yeah right now or the next run oh, okay we had to refresh so in a few seconds it will fail so as you can see it failed and if you go here you will find out why it's not it is not succeeded so it cannot connect it to the host blah 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 and uh, you have here all the logs and the status and if you go to your email you will find an alert that says that this job chronolytic monitoring has failed at this time and you can go to the dashboard and see what was the reason okay and of course that one if you refresh it it's gone because we deleted the instance so yeah so you have also here you can pause it you can yeah you can say i don't want it anymore uh, or if you have a working or a scheduled or or a scheduled uh, instance so you you can stop workflows this way and you can stop monitoring this way and that's a very easy way to monitor and host your nfn without having to spend a lot of time figuring out how to deploy and everything but but now we have to do some cleanup so now the this job is gone because the node is deleted and it cannot map to it anymore we have to delete the job and it is deleted and also you get um, APIs is to use it via your terminal, your backend, and everything. So it's a, a really a, a very good solution for hosting automations. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope also you give me feedbacks how you can use it, what you are looking for as features. If uh, something missing, please let me know. And I'm also open all the time for uh, improvements. So. Catch you the next one.